What's up, guys? This is Stacker Factor. It's Saturday night, and we're talking silver. Let's get stacking. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful weekend. I'm just chilling. I'm watching the UFC fights, and uh, we're going to be talking silver. So let's get right into this video. Spot is sitting at $22.65 right now. That is super duper cheap. I got three different types of silver on the table right here. We're going to start with these new e Phoenixes. I made a video about six days ago about these and how they are the best buy out right now. You can get these delivered to your door for 24 bucks a pop. However, you have to have the Walmart Capital One Cashback MasterCard in order to get that price. So if you don't have that card, I'm going to go over a few other pieces that you can be buying right now that are just absolute steals. But uh, kind of on a side note, I'm trying some new lighting out. So let me know if you guys like it or if it's washing it out, washing out the designs. I just figure that uh, with some lighting, I can get some even better shots. Watch my videos in 4K if you guys aren't right now because the quality of my videos is what sets me apart from all the other channels. Anyway, if Silver Phoenix, Phoenixes aren't for you, luckily there are some other options and this is one of them. This is a JBR Kilo, 32.15 troy ounces of straight silver. Feels so good to hold a kilo in your hand. It's freaking masculine. This is only one of two kilos that I own. Most of my stuff is um, one ounce, but but I was able to get this kilo for $22 an ounce. That's under spot. That's over a dollar, close to a dollar under spot. Crazy. Since when can you buy silver under spot? It, it almost never happens. Um, but PMs for sale came through and that's where you want to go right now. You cannot buy silver under spot from your LCS or any of the big online dealers absolutely awesome this comes from a super reputable seller he had a quite a few of these actually uh, i put it on the sigma everything is good all the other people that bought from him have left him great reviews so you can't go wrong with silver under spot now i will probably end up flipping this kilo i don't really care for generic kilos um I like high premium kilos if I can get them at a low premium price, but uh, I might wait, I don't know, a month. And if spot shoots up, I'm going to flip this and make an easy 120 bucks. So there you go. If spot sinks, um, I'll just hold on to it because <laughs> this is a lot of silver for not very much money. So my first recommendation, guys, would be check out PMs for sale and look for some big generic bulk at these low prices. Now, maybe generic silver isn't your cup of tea. Maybe you like higher premium stuff or you like sovereign. Well, you're in luck because for about 24 bucks an ounce, you can pick up something like this. These are 1.5 ounce Royal Canadian Mint Wildlife Series Polar Bears. Now, the Wildlife Series has all kinds of animals. The polar bears are probably the most sought after. These and the wolves. I love these things. I like the extra weight, too. That extra half ounce really makes this thing feel, feel cool. And, and the sound. Check the sound out of these. They sound different than one ounce coins. Love that. So yeah, you can't go wrong with stuff like this. You can't go wrong with Sovereign, especially really sexy Sovereign. Four nines, fine. Made by the best mint in the world, in my opinion. Absolutely wonderful. They came with the special tube that's just made for these. There's 15 of them in there. That's 22.5 ounces of wonderful, wonderful silver. Now... The uh, Federal Reserve 
just had their meeting a few days ago and they did not do anything. They didn't raise or lower the rates. However, in March, according to the Fed Watch tool, there is a 90% chance that we're gonna get cuts come March. Now, I'm not very good at predicting what the Fed's gonna do. Um, I was thinking maybe they would start the cuts in July. There will definitely be cuts coming in July. But if they come in March, even better, because once they start cutting rates, silver is going to go up, up, up. So keep an eye out for on that, guys. Um, that means that you have about two and a half months or two months, or what are we in now, February? You got a little while to keep buying, but once they start cutting, that's it, guys. We're gonna start seeing 25, 26. Who knows how, how high spot price is gonna go after that. So make sure you're scooping now and you have no excuse not to be getting whatever you want because there are just fantastic deals on everything. Now, what makes this really interesting, um, these cuts that are coming up really interesting, is the state that the world is in right now. We're starting to bomb Iran. The Israel thing is starting to spiral. The Ukraine war is, in my opinion, kind of coming to an end. It looks like Ukraine is not going to win that. And... Um, there's problems with Zelensky and his top general, who is the most famous person in Ukraine. And um, that's going to get ugly, guys. There's a lot of weird, weird things happening. If you told me, hey, Stagger Factor, the world's going to shut down for like three months because of the flu. And when it reopens, everything is going to be different. Prices are going to be crazy uh, on everything. There's going to be supply chain problems. There's going to be rampant homelessness, rampant crime. There's going to be rampant drug use. And uh, everything about American society is going to be tested and changed. I would call you crazy. I'd be like, what are you talking about? The American economy and the world economy, for that matter, cannot shut down. That's not going to happen. But it did over something as trivial as a flu. Well, what happens when the world comes to a reckoning with silver? You know, there's a lot of gold deep down in the earth, but there's not a lot of silver deep down in the earth. Most of the silver in the world is in the crust. It's kind of already been mined. I mean, don't get me wrong. There's plenty of silver out there, but the silver that we have is being thrown away. And silver is this weird little linchpin it's kind of like the Death Star, how the Death Star had in Star Wars had that one weakness and they flew that little spaceship into it and blew it up. Silver's kind of like that with the world economy. It's in everything. If the price of silver were to go up 10 times tomorrow, everything that you buy, your TV, your iPhone, would start costing more. And all of a sudden, people would start hoarding this stuff. And for some reason, they don't. This is what our money used to be. Gold and silver were in our coinage, and they took that away from us. And there's a reason why it was in our coinage. But they kind of tricked people into accepting paper with fancy numbers on it. And now they're trying to trick people into accepting computer screens with fancy numbers on them. And you, you, you can't build something. You, you can't build an iPhone with a dollar bill. I mean... It makes no sense to me. And, uh, you know, I'm not the only one who thinks about these things, obviously. But there's going to be a reckoning. And you're going to want to have this stuff in your possession when that happens. I don't know when or how, but it can happen overnight. If the world can shut down because of the flu and it can change pretty much every aspect of our society. I mean, I don't even drive to work anymore. I'm, I'm working in pajamas I get to go hang out with Stacker Pupper during my lunch breaks now. I'm not in some office wearing a suit. It's it's crazy. In some ways, I, I really like the fact that, you know, the, the coof happened and the world is different because it's benefited me, strangely. But it hasn't benefited a lot of people. I mean, 
go take a drive through a California inner, inner city right now. It, it is, it, it looks like a third world. Um, and that's kind of insulting even to some of the uh, third world countries that I've been to. I, I've been to nicer parts of Latin America than inner California cities. It's, it's nuts. So keep stacking, guys. You, you have no reason not to be getting whatever you want right now. There's so many great options. Um, yeah, that's all I can say for, for this video is, is go out and buy stuff. I mean, the Phoenix is obviously at 24 bucks an ounce. That's, that's the steal, but something like this under spot, like why not? And you know, a lot of people like to talk about their LCS and everyone knows, you know, how to get a better deal than the stuff I'm showing you now, but yeah, it's kind of, that's kind of BS, you know, um, I've been in this game for a while. This is what I do with the majority of my time is play around with silver, buy silver, sell silver. And this is the best time to be getting it right now. Um, just because of where we're sitting at in the world and what's happening in the world. So yeah, guys, um, it's a good time to be a stacker. I'll say that. And it's also a good time because it's Saturday night. So guys, go out, have some fun. Um, if you hit the strip club, wrap it up. <laughs> you know, don't drink too much. Um, I'm chilling in tonight. Stacker Pupper, the wife, we're probably going to just chill, watch a movie. And um, yeah, be thankful that we have the opportunity to be scooping up giant chunks of silver for really what's going to equate to be pennies on the dollar in the future. I mean, those cuts are going to be massive. They're talking about like, what, two and a half percent cuts this year, this year. What, what do you think that's going to do to prices? What do you think that's going to do to prices? Right now, um, other than food, most things are actually pretty affordable. Like if you want to go buy a TV right now, they're cheaper than they've ever been before. You want to go get like, you know, a pack of undershirts or I'm, I'm trying to think of like basic staple stuff. It's actually not that, not that bad, but when they start cutting those rates, you know, stuff right now that costs 50 bucks is going to be hiked up to 75, maybe even more. Don't forget they printed 40% more money than we had in circulation during that little six month window in 2020. It's bananas. And if they can manipulate the money like that and get us switched over to a digital currency, it's just, it's monopoly money and it's not real, guys. Um, you don't want your wealth to be in the hands of the federal government. You know, you just don't. You can't trust them. So put your faith and your money into precious metals. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. This isn't financial advice. This is just a stacker explaining how the world works now. We're not in the same world that our parents or our grandparents grew up in. This is a freaking crazy place. America is a dying empire. As much as I love this country, it is a dying empire. It is in decline. Um, when I was younger, you almost never saw a homeless woman. You saw homeless guys every now and then. But now you see arm, armies of homeless people, men and women. So, you know, America's in decline and they're raiding our monetary system. And if you don't think it, there is an Illuminati, there are really, really rich, powerful people out there that control the world, that have more power than <clears throat> governments and banks. And, uh, they're going to look out for themselves as they always have, but especially now when things are really hitting the fan, they're just going to be the first little rats to scurry off the ship and they're going to leave the rest of us to sink and drown. So keep your head on a swivel for silver deals, guys. PMs for sale. It's the way to go. Buy from reputable sellers. Be really careful. Um, ask me if you have any questions i can help you guys check out my uh video that i made about buying on pms for sale and have a great freaking weekend guys enjoy the time left that we have on this planet you know don't 
take things too seriously. That's my advice to you guys. I'm signing off. I'm going to go see the wifey, see Stacker Pupper. As always, guys, keep on stacking. <laughs>